Hey guys, Pagai Rules here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. To hopefully the last time we will end or begin an episode in this one stupid Pokemon Center. Oh, let me get rid of Slavey at the moment, though. Okay. Just because I have a feeling we're going to be battling another important Magma member, and I just want to have a full team for that. Also, I don't think Slavia will be able to learn Dive. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll have to either catch or f see if we have a water type that can learn it. Uh, Gulligan might be able to, but I don't want to teach it to him. <laughs> okay. Alright. So let's see. We battled everyone but this guy. Our leader said no one, but no one gets past me. <laughs> hmm, maybe your leader should have given you a gun. <laughs> mighty Ina, is, is that like your big thing? Like, the boss gave you a Mighty Ina instead of a, uh, you know, a Houndour? Not a Houndour, wow, a Poochie Ina. <laughs> I get those confused, I, I still do. Um... Yeah. Yeah, Snowball. Getting close there. Going, bud. Back to use Numel, sure. We'll switch to, uh... We'll get Gulligan some experience, I guess. I should actually see... Who really needs the experience? I mean, I just picked Gulligan because this would be easy for him. Um, and I, he doesn't necessarily need the levels, but as I stated before, he needs new moves. <laughs> he does learn Hydro Pump, I think, naturally. Uh, Mighty Ina, we'll let Snowball take care of it. Um, oh, Snowball's 39. Newman is 30. Yeah, Newman needs it pretty badly. Um, right, I guess we'll switch to Newman then. But yeah, Newman. Really, Newman and Zombooks are the only ones that are behind, and. As I keep saying, Zombug doesn't necessarily need the levels. It looks like Mighty Ina has a metal thing on its face. Maybe it does. I don't know. It, it that's what it looks like to me. Like it, it's fur. It, it looks like fur. The rest of the the gray on him, but in his face, it looks like he's wearing some kind of a mask, or like a fused piece of metal on his face. Yeah! Alright. Ack, ack, ack! <laughs> yeah. So I will kindly step aside for you. Oh! What's wrong with you? You're on number three to one, but you still want to take us on? Sure. A reckless go getter, are you? Okay, I'll go first. Psh. I can take all three of you on at once. Triple battles, look them up. <laughs> I'm so sick of fighting Zubats. Is the plural of Zubat Zubat or Zubats? It sounds like it should be Zubat. I'm fine, I'm so sick of fighting Zubat. Now maybe Zubats. Hmm. Well, as I've said before, I I am not the one to go to of Pokemon pronunciation. Or grammar, like, or pronunciation of anything, I suppose, even. Um, but apparently, hey, for to my credit, the anime and even Pokemon Stadium mispronounces names, so you can't trust anyone. <laughs> for all you know, I could be saying it right. Nah. <laughs> oh boy, Mighty Ian, I've never seen one of those before. Really should switch out Geico and switch Newman to front. Nah. <laughs> When got go levels up, I will. Yeah. We'll probably put the experience share on Newman after Snowball evolves. Oh yeah, facing all of the Pokemon that I just had to face. You know, this is like the Elite Four right here. I really could be using a, uh, you know, Pokemon Center, but no, I can't. I get to battle you guys in succession. Or you could have just 
You could have just given me one grunt with three Pokemon game. That it's like the same exact thing. But whatever. Props for mixing it up, I suppose. There you go. We should level up. Oh. Man, you guys are so weak. You suck. Why would Team Magma want to steal a rocket fuel in the first place? Team Magma? Do they want to go to space too? Hmm. If Team Magma takes the rocket fuel, I won't be able to go to space. They can't be allowed to get away with such an outrage. And in the plot twist of the century, the head of Team Magma was actually the Space Corps. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta go to space. Hey, Steven. Team Magma. What's the point of stealing rocket fuel? <laughs> Since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We're going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney. Jettison? Hmm. With Groudon gone, we have no need for that slag of heap mountain. So we'll use the fuel's power to make the volcano erupt. It'll be savage. <laughs> Steven's like, I ain't having none of that. AJ, you're going to help me? Let's go into battle together. Are you ready? Yeah. Whoa, I have to... Oh, this is weird. Um... Okay. What? Oh. Okay, this is... Okay. Oh, because he has three Pokemon, and I'm actually teaming up with someone. That's right, this... Hasn't happened yet in this game. This is the first time, it, right? Wow. I don't think. Yeah, no. Not into the entirety of this game. I, I wasn't even sure. I thought that was a, a platinum thing, even, or I guess a diamond and pearl thing. Huh? No, apparently not. This is cool. All right, I'll take it. I'm fine with this. Interesting. Ah, he's got a Matang. A man after my own heart. Metagross is one of my favorite Pokemon. Mm. Um, just leaf blade away that Mighty Ena. Level 42 Mighty Ena and a level 36 camera. Interesting. There's even level discrepancy. Oh, I guess one of them's the leader and the other one's an admin. Hmm. Look how we're both weak to fire, which is supposedly the main typing of the, uh, the evil team we're fighting against, and yet we're doing just fine. <laughs> now, if this evil team had a bunch of Charizards, we'd all be, like, you know, in trouble. That would be intimidating and awesome. But now, you know, the most you have is, you know, maybe a Torkoal there, a Numal camera up here, you know, and the rest are just filled with dark types. Yeah, I gotta go. Alright. Nice. Oh, Crobat, I'm so scared. It's interesting, though. Apparently, even though he's a bad guy, he made his Pokemon love him enough to evolve into a Crobat. Okay, um... Let's... Let's let Maggie... Or, actually, no, you know what? Camera up is weak to Leaf Blade, so we'll just do that. And Crobat's weak to Psychic, which is Matang. Oh, okay, alright. That's fine. <laughs> uh... Switch to Maggie anyway. You should have used it against Crobat, dummy. Aren't you supposed to be like a really awesome trainer? Whatever. Uh, Thunder. Oh no, I can't escape. Although I guess if Camera Up uses a fire type attack on me, I'm in trouble, but pff, what are the odds of that actually happening? Yeah. Nice, Maggie. Ooh, good defense. Uh oh, two camera ups. What am I going to do? I don't know if I've said it before, but the evil teams, as far as battling, they're incredibly weak in this game. Just thunder him. 
Although, I mean, they really did up the gym challenge for Emerald, which is good. Uh oh, this is bad. We're both. Uh oh. Oh man, I've been mocking them, and yet I only have one Pokemon left. This could actually be a problem. Oh, hey, go Matang. See what I mean about Matang being awesome? Yeah, well, even well, actually, I wonder if he KOs all of my Pokemon, but not his. I wonder what happens. Um, I guess we'll use Water Gun on camera. I should use Blizzard Ground as weak to it anyway. Right, now I'm confused. Hmm. Well. Who else does he have? He's I guess he specializes in steel. I think yeah, I think I saw he had a s Yeah, I think he specializes in steel. Which is is an awesome type. You know, it's amazing defensively. I, I let me use Blizzard now. Nice, Agragon. Ag no, Agron. That's how you say it. It's not. It's not like Aragon or Agragon or no. It's Agron. Thing looks like evil. It has an evil smile from the back there. If you look at it. <laughs> Suck it. Mighty Enel take damage from that, too. Oof, Agron. It's beating. <laughs> Just nearly KO'd your own Pokemon. Good going. Oh, come on. And right after I mock them for hurting themselves, then I do the same. I am kind of curious if I if I lose this, but he keeps battling. You know, I should be fine, but I don't know. You know, I'm a little bit worried. Well, he just keeps using earthquake, which isn't gonna hurt me, so I guess I shouldn't be that worried. And I'll use water gun, and I'll have a better chance of hitting. Cause Blizzard hasn't been doing squat for me. Oh, finally. Okay, I take that back. Scamory looks really weird from the back in this generation. Maybe it's all generations. I don't know. Maybe I've never seen Scamory from the back. He just looks really weird, doesn't he? I mean, I, I guess I get the... It's just an odd perspective considering as a beak. Yeah, Gulligan. Good going. All I want. I just want to expand the land mass. I'm with our leader. I have no personality to speak of. <laughs> we failed to make the volcano erupt. We failed to control Groudon after we awakened it. Is our goal to expand the land mis misguided? Yes, and I will go into that after we're done talking to you. If if we team Magma are wrong, then Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally wait. Oh, might Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? Hmm. All right. We will give up on the fuel. There appear to be more important matters that I must examine. Phew, that was too tense. AJ, thank you. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Please come see me at my at home after this. Oh yes, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here on this island. Okay. Um, so yeah, Team Magma's plan is to expand the land mass. To put more land on the Earth. I mean... Look, if... If the world population has become that crowded, that, like, you know, humanity needs it, I could get that. You know, I could totally support that, you know, if there's, like, too much water and, you know, or not too much water, but if there's tons of, tons of water and, you know, you need to do something about the population, you know, to, to have more room for houses for people, I could kind of understand that, but their goal is just that they like expanding the landmass. Like, I, I don't... It's kind of flimsy. I like the themes of the water and fire and everything, but it's a bit flimsy, um, to say the least. The same thing with Team Aqua's plan. AJ, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. This is a to this is my token of appreciation. It's the hidden machine dive. 
No need to be shy. You've earned this HM. Obtain the HM8. AJ put away the HM8 in the TMs and HM's pocket. While you're using Surf, you should notice dark patches of water. Already have. Use Dive and you'll come... If you come to deep water like it, you'll drop to the seafloor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again. In some places, it won't be possible for you to surface, though. But what if I need to breathe, dude? Like, Steven, apparently there's an underwater cavern between Moss Deep and Cetopolis. You know, the one that Captain Stern found in the submarine. Oh, interesting. But, like, what if I need to breathe? <laughs> Is that gonna be an issue, or...? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out. Um, last time we are in this <laughs> Pokey Center, I promise. We just need... Oh, my. Has Slavy... Does Slavy know anything but HM moves? Oh, it knows Secret Power, which we can make it forget. Um, let's see if it can learn Dive. If it can learn Surf, really, it should be able to learn Dive, you would think. But who knows? Pokemon logic's weird. Uh, dive is pretty much Dig. <laughs> In, in battle, I should say. Not able. Okay, he can swim on the surface, but he can't dive. Well, you know what? Let's go fishing, I guess. We haven't shown off the fishing rod, so... Why not? I should have dropped off a Pokemon so that we could just catch one and be done. There's the old rod. Follows me that there's a magma emblem, but not an aqua emblem. <laughs> You've got the whole sim cut away, but what? No. Hey, I was good on the draw there. Unless I'm forgetting how to s fish in this game. Nibble, nibble. You just wait until it says, oh, you got a bite, and then you press A, right? <laughs> it changes every game for some reason. Slightly. Oh, oh. You're gonna be a pain in my butt, are ya? What? Come on! Do, do I have to keep pressing A? Do I have to press and hold A? Uh... Oh, I... Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I pressed it... Okay, you're only supposed to press it once. I think that was my mistake. Oh yeah, it's long and tedious in this game. Unlike all the other games where it's also long and tedious, but in different ways. Oh come on, just let me get the Pokemon. See, if you're gonna if you're gonna go through all this trouble, I should just get the Pokemon. It should just be automatically caught considering I landed it. Oh a Whalmer. How adorable. Hmm. I didn't think this through. I quick attack shouldn't kill it. In theory. Okay. Oh, don't you don't you be rolling out, boy. Big blubber. Um, I have Pokeballs, right? Yes. Not many, but I mean, I have many different kinds. Just, you know, not multiples of them. <laughs> ah. Now, we'll quick attack again. <laughs> you know what? I just realized we have to go back to that Pokemon Center. God dang it. <laughs> Hmm. Anyone getting Whitney flashbacks right about now? <laughs> Come on. Yes! Probably be the last Pokemon we catch for a while. Actually, come to think of it, nah, some things are coming up soon. Well, this Pokemon usually lives in the sea, it can survive on land. Although not too long, it loses vitality if its body becomes dried out. So don't try battling with it on land or it will die. Give a nickname to the captured Wilmer. No. Ah, I should have slavied three him. Ah, well. It's just not even important enough to do that. I just want to get to the next town. At this point, Nurse Joy's like, Jeez, quit coming here, kid. Don't you have a life? Don't you want to get more badges and beat... That's not what I'm grabbing. Um... Beat the, beat the gym leaders and everything, and I'm just like, I know, lady, I'm just, I'm having a really rough time right now, I'm, and, and I'm gonna have to teach him to surf, too, because I don't want to have two slaves at the same time. <laughs> um, okay, we'll teach him dive. 
Yes, yes. Maybe we, like, go inside his mouth or something. That's how we dive. Like, he just swallows us, but he's got air inside of him. Okay, surf. Try not to button mash too close to my mic. That was really loud. Water pulse. I don't know why I'm either bothering to like pick which moves it replaced, but okay, cool. Now finally we can get on our way here. I feel like I had good momentum in this game for a little bit there. Um, let's swear. Yay. Okay. So, yeah. Here's the whole dive thing. Um, it's only... The dive thing disappears in Gen 4, and it comes back in a very minor way in Gen 5, in a very weird way in Gen 5, too. Um, but, yeah. Cool music, you know, cool atmosphere, and... You know, it's kind of surreal, I guess you could say. And, and there's some cool things hidden under here in some areas. Where does this go? Underwater. Thank you, game. I, I can tell I am underwater. I didn't think that changed. Um, okay, I just want to... Huh. Interesting. Um, it's interesting to note that there are no... Well, there are wild Pokemon under here, but you have to find seaweed, um, which is basically acts as tall grass. Uh, but just, you know, swimming like there isn't going to um, attract any wild Pokemon. Now, I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> uh, okay, well... No, I don't... Oh, it's May. Hey, AJ. <laughs> I was just in... Paz of a little while ago. Saw a giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. i never seen anything like it. I wonder if that's... I wonder what it was. Is this maybe a major discovery? Hmm. It's... It's a, uh... Oh, no, it's... Say hey hey, let's get on with it. I think May saw a giant flying shroomish. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they go with mystery, the mystery angle. I mean, you know, the Pokemon's like on the front cover of the game. <laughs> like we know, we know what that Pokemon is. I guess its name isn't shown up. Actually, maybe it is on the back. I should check. I actually have the box to Pokemon Emerald. And that make me sound like a winner. But, uh, but no, I, I do have it. Because um, a while back, uh, back when I was getting into... Back when I was really getting into video games again in my life. Because I was into them a lot as a kid, and then I went through a period where I was still into video games, but I, I traded in a lot of my games, which I still say was a big mistake, and I will never trade in another game. Um, unless it sucks, and I could get a good deal on it. Um... But, but anyway, I was in a Target with my grandparents, and it was my birthday. Um, not the actual day, but, like, uh, what I used to do was they used to take me on, like, little shopping sprees when I was a kid. Um, for my birthday. Uh, where am I, man? Like, in the middle of a triathlon. Well, you are, but I'm not. Wait, if you're in the middle of... No, this is not a good time to be battling late. Whatever. Um, but anyway, I went on a little shopping spree, and I got... I got a bunch of DS games mostly, but I saw in the back of Target they had the only Game Boy Advance games they had, uh, you know, and still in box and everything, were a ton of copies of Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald. No Ruby, for the oddest reason. I, I, I mean, I guess, I guess no Ruby because most people, when they see the two types, they just fake the first one just because, well, it's the first one, you know? Um... Assuming the third one isn't out yet, but yeah, so I bought both, um, and I got the boxes to both, uh, and, and they were, I think they were on sale too, I got, I got them pretty cheap, like less than 20 bucks I think, um, which is pretty good, uh, considering, I don't, I mean, I haven't checked again recently, but even years after they came out, I kept checking Fire Red and Leaf Green to see if, I 
guess, I guess I'm just gonna battle these people. Um, but I kept checking Fire Red and Leaf Green, like, used in GameStop, without box or anything, to see if it would come down in price. Still 35 bucks! Like, come on! I know they're great games and all, but you could lower them, like, 5, 10 bucks. I mean, sheesh. I should switch out Gecko, actually. Oh, I'll wait till it gets to level 40. Um, seeing as this isn't a good place to bring in Numel anyway. Nor is it a good place to bring in Snowball. Or Maggie, even, because it's not that accurate. <laughs> I guess we're sticking with Geico while we're surfing. And we'll battle with you. What's the hurry? Let's take it slow and easy. Hey, hey, hey. It's game period E for everyone, little girl. Chinchu. Chinchow? Oh, no. Not this again. Um... Interesting typing. It's water electric. Looks cool, too. That's all I have to say about that Pokemon. <laughs> We've never used it in battle. That's, I mean, that's one of the great things about Pokemon is that, you know, you could, like, no matter how many teams you have or how many games you've played, there's still going to be Pokemon that you haven't used. I've, I think I've, I've gone too far. In, not in life, just, I mean, yeah, yeah, I've, I've, well, I'm not too far, actually, but this is the way to, uh, Pacific Log Town. We don't really want to go there. I mean, we can, but I just don't particularly care. Um, that might actually be an entirely optional town. I, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I have the box to Emerald and Sapphire. Cool looking boxes, too. They're shiny. I also have the box to Chrono Trigger if I'm bragging, uh, which is kind of rare. That was another that was another birthday gift for my grandparents. I have amazing grandparents. Um, what's that beeping? Do I have a match call? Is that what that means? Or that blinking, I should say. No, I don't want to call anyone. I, I, I think that means I can match call people to rematch them, which is good to know for when I want to train. Okay, I still have to go up more. Okay, all right, and here we go to the left. Ay ay ay. Come on. Okay, I think this is where we need to dive. Yeah, see, those are the patches where you can find wild Pokemon. But I still got a repel, so hmm. Big pearl. Awesome. Like I said, you know, cool, mu cool music down here. Um, it's a weird town that you have to go underwater to get to. I mean, it's, I'd feel very claustrophobic being in that town because you need a submarine or a Pokemon. That looks really cool. Um, a submarine or a Pokemon to, to get out. <laughs> like, to escape the dang town. Um, let's... Uh, we, mm, okay, that's the gym. I was... I would, uh, yeah, I don't want to go to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to go to the gym. Actually, let me check something. I was going to say, let's get all our Pokemon, but since... Yeah, the gym is closed. Since this place is all water, we need to be able to surf anyway, so... I guess we'll have Whelmer with us for a little bit longer. So yeah, part of this town's watery. Or city, or whatever this is. So it's, a, it's definitely weird, structurally. Um, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? So Topolis says Juan has many fans, even more than his student Wallace. Oh, do I have any? Yes. You guys are my fans, right? No? All right. <laughs> Dedicated fans come over from even outside of Hoenn. I w it was really wild when I went to the trainer fan club in Lily Cove. Wild. I don't think there's actually too much point in talking to some of these trainers, or some of these NPCs, but whatever. There appears to be some connection between Sotopolis and Mount Pyre. My friends and I did some research on it in the lab where I used to work. My big brother used to study the sea. What happened? Did he get fired? That was, that was rude. I'm sorry. Okay. No. What? Ha! You've come all the way to Sotopolis? You're no ordinary tourist. But I suppose that doesn't make you an extraordinary tourist either. Hmm. Thanks, guy. That was important. Hmm. 
Who might you be? This is the cave of origin. The spirits of Pokemon becalmed at Mount Pyre are said to... Wait, whoops. I missed that. Be revived here. Please leave. I can't... Aw. Hmm. Can't go to the gym. Can't go to the super important looking cave. Where can I go? I guess I should continue to explore the city a little bit. We'll get, we'll get all this derping around the city done uh, by this episode still. For 30 years I've remained in Citopolis honing my skills. I developed a shattering TM. I bequeath it to you. <laughs> Reminds me of community. Team 31 contains Brick Break. It's a move so horrible I can't describe it. It's horrible, alright. Actually, I don't think Brick Break is that bad, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. So, I think that's it for this side of town. Wait, is there... Did I see... Did I... Did I go in here? I think I did. No, I didn't. The cave that links Zootopolis and the outside world seems as if the cave was meant to keep something from getting out. Or am I just imagining things? The underwater volcano erupted and forced itself up, up upon the depths. Its crater emerged from the sea and became filtered with rainwater. That is how Zootopolis City came into being. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's just make sure there's no one important in the mart. Not just some fat guy and some shady looking guy. <laughs> I like video games because I can be mean to fictional characters without feeling guilty. <laughs> the mystical city where history slumbers. Wake up, history. I'm here. Zootopolis sprang up as a town in the crater of a volcano. If you look up... How many volcanoes are in this stupid region? <laughs> if you look up at the sky, the lip of the crater is also visible. I wish I could. So all you see in the sky is a circle. Hmm. Thanks for telling me when I could just look up. I mean, you know, if I was actually in-game, I'd be able to look up. I actually can't right now. But that's what makes the sky above Zootopolis all the more beautiful. Love to see it, game. Hmm. This looks important. You know, we haven't been to the Trick House in a while. I don't know why I just thought of that. When I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. Now that I've become an old buzzer, my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. This looks like something here, doesn't it? Can, no, I can't use strength or anything. I mean, oh, no, I mm, shouldn't have clicked on that. Hey, I didn't give you permission to... A nickname fit for a unique individual Pokemon. Well, alright, you nailed Zombug pretty well right there. Has a sublime flowing feel to it. The flow from the initial letter Z to O, especially under Z, Z, Z to the B O. All right, whatever. Weirdo. <laughs> this game's full of weirdos. Do you know the Pokemon Lotad? It's really seen stopless. I love, I mean, love Big Lotad. Excuse me, guy. My big brother says that C dot is bigger. But that's wrong. Everyone knows Lotad is a lot bigger. Huh? Do you have a Lotad? P please show me. I don't have a Lotad, guy. I don't want to be a part of your creepy game with your brother. Are you... You're going to talk about CDOT. I don't want to know, dude. Diving in the sea, climbing up and down stairs all the time. If you live in this town, you end up getting physically fit. Who talks like that? Listen up and I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. They could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. Hmm. Yeah. If you dive in random places, you can get some good stuff, and it's also where some legendary information is held, you could say. Be nice if they existed, but even if they didn't, it would also be so beautiful to take an underwater stroll with my Pokemon. Hmm. If you're not able to, then that means you're trapped in this town, probably, lady. I guess you could get in by submarine, but I have never been outside the city. I wonder what the world is like on the other side of this brown sky. It's a little bit sad. Ah, uh, we're getting close to the time. I don't just kind of want to... Mount Pyre? That's peak two orbs placed side by side. Did you know? Yes. Yes, two orbs side by side. The sight of them together, it is somehow soothing. Hmm. Pervert. <laughs> ah, I kid. Where is the important thing in this town? 
Hello, you're our first guest in a good while. You've brightened up my day, so I'll give you a big Wilmer doll. Yes, taking care of it. Awesome! Hmm. Well, alright, well, we've done a bunch of derping around in the city, so. Looks like next time, we will, uh, pick up and do some important things. I said we wouldn't end the episode in the other Pokemon Center. I didn't say we wouldn't end in a Pokemon Center. Alright, guys? Uh, Pie Guy Rules, out.